Hey, comic book community, Longbox Love Affair here with uh, a different kind of video. I want to showcase some of my foreign comics, uh, the comics from overseas, different uh, countries. Uh, it's, it's really awesome when you go traveling, whether it's in the States or abroad, to see what different local comic shops have. And uh, I'm a big fan of The Hunt and seeing what else is out there. And it, it's almost a must that I need to go to at least two or three comic shops. Um, be back before I did YouTube, I was still obviously a collector. I've been collecting for 20, 30 years. Uh, and uh, I just, whenever I would travel abroad, which hasn't been a whole lot, but it's been enough, um, I'd try to find a comic store, but I wasn't gung-ho about it. I, I'd be like, okay, if it's there, it's there, I can find it. But now I'm like, it needs to be there. Need to find it. So, uh, you know, I've been to Paris and I found album comics. I didn't buy anything. I didn't, I didn't buy any... Parisian comics. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, went to Berlin and uh, went to a comic shop, but it was it was more of a graphic novels and indie. It wasn't anything mainstream or modern um, that I could find. And I was like, I can't understand it. I don't speak German, so I'm not going to buy any of these comics. I'm shooting myself because I was like, I should have found uh, those those shops that have those hard to find foreign comics. Uh, and I didn't find anything in English except album comics had a little bit of both. I had. Uh, French and uh, English comics, but uh, I had a. There's a local convention that happens every month or two, and um, a year or two ago I, I went to it, and there was this uh, seller who had a bunch of Spawn uh, foreign comics, and that that got me thinking: Should I look at these? Should I? Should I? They're cool covers. They're different covers. I was like, should I? Should I buy one? Uh, and I didn't. And uh, I, I held off. I should have, I should have, I should have. And luckily, they were back one other time, and I only bought one from them, and I wish I bought them all. Uh, so the one I bought, I dug it out, um, is Spawn number 5. I think this is German, uh, but it is the Angela cover, so it's the first appearance of Angela. Um, and it's embossed, so you touch it, and it's got this ribbing to it, you know, uh, and uh, just really cool... Uh, glossy cover near mint probably it's got a little spine indent because it's a hardbound square bound book um, and uh, infinity verlag spawn five so I think it's German uh, would have been cool to find these uh, I paid uh, it says 12 but I paid about 750 I remember uh, for it he hasn't had them on sale so I should have swiped them all up it was before I knew anything about foreign comics, and I'm glad I picked this one up because I just, I love the cover. Really cool cover. Um, I also, uh, so, so obviously I joined YouTube and the hype, everyone talking about different foreign comics. I'm looking online at different things and you see spawns, they have the Mexican variants and you're like, you don't want the Mexican variant. You want the American one because it's harder to find. Um, and there's different country things that are coming. And you probably saw from one of my hauls earlier this year, um, this Avengers Deluxe Presenta, number one. And uh, yeah, and this is a cool Amanda Connor foil cover. It's a reprint cover of that super hard to find Captain Marvel one. Um, at, I think it's what, 14 or something? I don't have it, uh, but I love this cover. And it's just glossy embossed foil cover. Um, I haven't opened it. I'm not going to open it. I don't want to get my grubby hands all over this. Uh, but I think I bought it for about 40 or 50 bucks. Um, so uh, just a cool hardbound. And I think it's Russian. Uh, just, just telling from it. Um, I think some people have this already on the YouTube community. So excited for this uh, in my collection. And for spawns, I'd love to get more of them, uh, the foreign variants, the, the hardbounds, if they're a cool cover and harder to find. Um, so this video has been a while in the making because uh, in May I went to Peru. Uh, I went to three cities in Peru, Lima, Cusco, and uh, Puno. And uh, Cusco uh, was Machu Picchu, not too far from there. Uh, so I was with a tour group and the second to last day we're flying back to Lima and had some downtime and 
I told the tour guide, I was like, you know, asked him about where something was located. And he said, well, why didn't you tell me? I would have hooked you up with a friend. I have a friend who has a comic store because he has a friend who does everything. And uh, awesome guy. And I was just kicking myself for not asking him earlier because in Cusco, which we had just left, uh, apparently there were comic stores and I could not find them anywhere. So obviously they're not on the beaten trail. Uh, So when I was in Lima, I took an Uber. They have Uber. And I found a comic store. There were a couple I was looking for in one general area, and I couldn't find them except for one. So, um, so I bought some comics. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, six, for the equivalent of about two dollars. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, uh, ten dollars. I meant to say ten dollars. Uh, ten to twelve dollars, I think. So these are books. They're not in mint condition, but they're just kind of cool memories to have, and they're hot books. So they're all Peruvian, and they're different uh, Peruvian compilations. So the first one I picked up was Batman 15 or 608, the, the Jim Lee uh, start of the run. Just a cool cover, just a cool, cool thing to have. I'm a big Jim Lee fan, and to have one of his um, Hush storyline books is awesome. And uh, frankly, it reintroduced me to, to Jim Lee back in the day when the storyline first came out. So, love that. I also picked up Batman 19, another uh, Peruvian variant, as all of these are. Um, the Superman Batman cover is awesome. I just love that. And these are both of these Batmans are in really good shape. They're probably the better shape of everything else. Um, I've never seen this one before, and I'm a big Hell fan, Hellboy fan. And so I bought the Hellboy sketchbook, Mike Minola. Um, Not sure if this was ever released in the U.S. Someone tell me otherwise. But uh, just never seen it before. Big Hellboy collector. So Hellboy sketchbook in Spanish. Look comics. Whatever that means. And Dark Horse over on this side. This one's a little banged up, but I just threw it in there for what the heck. Uh, the Peruvian Batman versus Bane, the first appearance of Bane. And I have on here 15 soles. I'm not sure how much I actually paid. I forgot how much soles was compared to US dollars. Um, but uh, just a really cool Glenn Fabry cover. Uh, we all knew this book back in the 90s. So Peruvian cover. Um, and then I picked up, and they, have, they need new bags, um, 606, Amazing Spider-Man, Peruvian. It's got this Peru 21 over here. Uh, so there's different labeling, new stand bar up here. Uh, just kind of really cool. Uh, just, and of course, these are not, don't seem to be worth as much as the originals. Um, they may be, but... Um, I'm not, I haven't researched them that much so far, but it's just really cool to have. I didn't buy them to resell necessarily. One day I may, but uh, not right now. Uh, And then this book I found, and uh, I freaked out for a second, and then I came back to my senses. It's the Peruvian version of Walking Dead number one. Down here. Too bad it didn't have the, too bad it wasn't the American version, but uh, (laughs) it is uh, not mint. It's got some spine creases, but Walking Dead number one, I mean, WTF. Uh, They had this in the stand for cover price, and this was four soles, which I think is the equivalent to one or two dollars. I could be wrong. Again, I said I'm rusty on my soles. Conversion. But uh, to have Walking Dead number one back in my collection, so this is the book, this is the series that got me started selling comics for my collection because I had collected one through 25, I bought them on eBay back in the day when issue 26 was coming out, or 27. And so I bought one through 25, I don't know how much I paid for it, $150, something like that. Uh, And um, I ended up selling one through 100 for $3,000 back in the day, uh, many years ago. So I wish I had it back in my collection. It was near mint. These, these are beautiful books. Um, I wish I slabbed it, 
but that's before I knew anything about slabs or, 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 or whatever, but I still think I got a fair price. So Walking Dead, number one in Spanish, I'm sure, and uh, the Peruvian edition. Um, you see these online and I think they're what, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, what have you. But it's just a cool little keepsake for my, my trip in Peru. Uh, so that's my international comic book haul. Uh, and so do a call to the community. If you have international books, show them, show me what you got. Um, there was a video not too long ago, about a week or so ago from Spidey Fan. He went to Paris and showed off some of the books he found. Amazing finds. He did some really good hunting. And so I was jealous there. He, he had some, uh, some help from his family to, to, to get some extra uh, Action Comics number 1000, uh, Jim Lee variants, but I already have one. Uh, so that's good that he found some. And uh, so, yeah, it's just uh, show me what, if you have any international books, like what you have, where you've traveled to, and um, uh, just what is hot. I'm not sure what the most hot international location is. Maybe that'll plan my next trip. Um, but I have a friend moving to Portugal next year, so maybe I'll go to Portugal. Uh, do they have a big comic book scene? I don't know. Um, but uh, let me know what you think, uh, the spec of, of international comics. Are they, they worth investing in? Are they, um, which ones are hot? You see a lot of Spawn international comics, so it's, it's exciting to uh, have at least one in my collection. Uh, but it's, it's just super hard to find, especially in the States, although over, overseas, it's commonplace. So uh, looking forward to starting the dialogue. And uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love the YouTube community. I love all that everyone that watches and all the subscribers. Um, I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers. So uh, thanks everyone who's joined recently and thanks for the longstanding people who have watched. I really do appreciate it. So uh, international comic book haul over and I'll talk to you all soon. All right, bye.